One of the questions I get asked most often is how do I take an old TV like this and put um, something like a Roku player, your computer, uh, a Blu-ray player, anything like that, hook it up to this old machine. That really just depends on what's on the back of the television. That will determine what kind of adapters and cables you need to get a digital signal over into the analog world here. This TV has the common antenna connectors on the back. These are screw terminals. Most TVs have two sets, one for UHF and one set for VHF. They're usually labeled uh, either on the plastic or on a label nearby. So it says here that um, these two on the bottom are the connectors for VHF. Anyway, you want to make sure that the antenna is unhooked from these connectors. And this is what you'll use to connect. Let's take a look at some of the other types. TVs like this from the 1990s sometimes have a coaxial cable in. And this is just the thick cable that's usually in the back of your cable modem or your cable TV. And this one also has composite video and composite audio. Sometimes these are referred to as RCA cables. This one's kind of a weird one. It's more of a, a video monitor than a television and it has only composite in and out. This is a security monitor. Security monitors use the strange type of connection called a BNC connection, like a weird cross between coaxial and composite video. These miniature sets often have these antennas that go in like a headphone jack, and for this you need an adapter. I find that it's a good idea to have a dedicated power strip that way you can plug in your TV and all your different adapters in one spot and not have to hunt for plugs. Next, you're going to want a HDMI cable to connect whatever device to your analog input. If you're connecting to a computer, you might need a USB-C to a HDMI adapter. Next, you'll want one of these. This is an HDMI to composite converter. It basically takes your HDMI signal and then turns it into composite video and audio on this side. It also needs a USB for power. So that's what we'll plug in to our strip first. Next, you're gonna need composite cables. So here are the RCA composite cables that plug into this end. The yellow is the most important because that's the video and white and red are audio. The resolution of your converter is what the resolution is going to be on your output device. This resolution is 1024 by 768, I think. Some of these might have different resolutions. Some of them might have different aspect ratios. If you're plugging into a 4 by 3 aspect ratio television, and if your converter only does like letterbox, you might get some stretching. If your TV has composite audio and video on the back, you can stop here and just plug these cables into the back of your television. If your TV has a BNC connector like this monitor, you'll need an adapter that goes on the cable like this and then plugs into the BNC on the back. The next thing to plug into the strip is the RF modulator. Most of them that look like this um, have a switch on the back for channel 3 or 4 for your television. We'll plug this into here yellow to yellow, red to red, white to white. Okay, and next you're gonna need a coaxial cable. Often these will have two posts on the back and they're hard to read, but you have to find the one that says two TV and plug your coaxial into that one. If your TV has a post like this on the back, then you can stop here and just plug in the other end of your cable into the back of your television. If your television has the screw-in terminals on the back, you'll need one of these. This is a matching transformer or ballon. You just screw it into the cable and then attach it to the back of your television. If the TV has these headphone style plug-ins here, you need an adapter that looks like this, where a coaxial cable goes on one end and this plugs into the jack. If you're using an RF modulator, it's important to make sure that your TV is on whatever channel your switch is on. So here it says channel 4, and I'm on channel 4, and I get a picture. Okay, well I hope that was helpful, and I hope you learned some new things about TVs. Yeah, tune in next time. I'll show you more stuff.